the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. All right, BoxingBoys.com live here with F.A. El Jefe Java. So we got some uh, Patreon questions. Patreon are like uh, the people that support me and make sure you know that I go to certain places so I'm, I give them a, a perk as part of their membership to ask any fighter that I'm gonna interview questions so we got a bunch for you Anthony Edwards is coming from Cincinnati he wants to know what would be your ideal timeline and path to challenge one of the champs like how soon do you want to face Wilder Joshua Ortiz so um, well, no, no it's, it's, it's not up to me it's after my manager, like they try to put me on the work up. So it, it, well, it's not my time right now. So my time is coming up to challenge those guys. So but right now, I don't have to talk about them because they're already there. So I have to be there before I can challenge them. But right now, so my manager, Shalifiko, and um, Pusha Chef are the promoter. So they try to raise me up to get more fights. So my record, to build my record. So because my time is now, it's now now. So when my time comes, so. if you could, if you could challenge either champion today, who would it be? Up to you. Um, I, yeah, I, hopefully that. Yeah. So like when I challenge them, that's it. So I can do whatever I do. Which one champion. though? You don't have um, a preference? One that you rather fight first? Um, I don't know. No, right now I don't know. So. It depends, like it's the boxing council. It's not the promoter, it's not the manager. So it's the boxing council. So when I get there, like when I build my record, like maybe 95, 19, uh, okay. hopefully it's not gonna, I, I'm not gonna be there. So as far as I keep knocking people out, that like my record is building by knockout first one. So I think, probably the boxing council, they can't look prove like this guy, oh, who is this guy, you know what I mean? So when you get there, they're gonna say, hey, Shalish, but I have to challenge some guys, some bad guys first. Like Joshua and Wilder that I fought before. So I have to fight those guys, so before I get them. All right, so you need to fight, uh, fight some common opponents. People yeah. that Wilder and Joshua already Yeah, fought. they already fought before, yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you like to do outside of the ring? Your hobbies, business ventures, fun things you do for fun. Um, what does Hefe do to entertain himself? Yeah, um, but to me, I don't drink. No drinking? I don't go to club, I don't do this. So all my life is like training, focus. So when you go home today, when, what you gonna do? Yeah, when I go home, I don't do anything. I go home, I cook. So when I finish cooking, I eat, I sleep. So when I, when I wake up from sleep, I got a PS to play. I play Michel games, I play soccer, I play other stuff. So when I'm tired of playing other stuff, I, I, like I'm thinking about my family. I call them, hey, are you guys okay? So when I got money, I go to the restaurant, I sell money to them. That's what I do in my life. Alright, so just eat, work, and sleep. Sleep, work. So I don't have anywhere to go. So I don't have much friends. Mm. The only friends I have is my brother. The only friends I have is Plex. That's it. Vani and uh, some other assistant coach like Mr. Troy, Mr. Quay. Those are the those are the assistant coach. They are my friends. So whenever I need something, I call them. Hey, I got something. I need something. So they tell me what to do. That's it. All right. Raheem Ingram says, uh, do you feel like Chris, the Chris Harper situation has been the best thing that could have happened to your professional career? Do you feel that him walking out the ring was a good thing, better than winning, better than beating him? Yeah, uh, when you walk out of the ring, I think it's like, the way you walk out of the ring, it's like uh, a try to raise my boxing profile up. Mm -hmm. Because if not for Curtis Harper, nobody will know me. Yes. So like Curtis Harper do that for a purpose. He did like it's just it's just up with his God. It's not just it's not my power. It's everything not, happens for a reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything happens for a reason. So it's like what? But me, I was I was upset. In the way. Mm -hmm. But when they went for raise my hand, I was like I didn't fight, you know, because the way the guy walked out of it, like something happened or he did that for a purpose. He used that to help me out to build my profile, up, my mm -hmm. profile up. So that's what happened. Perfect, perfect. Uh, your trainer said you are and want to be a knockout artist do you believe you were born with power or did you develop it over time uh and what does your amateur record say in terms of knockouts um uh, i'm actually knockout is like um 43 fights 
and thirty knockouts. So thirty. Yeah. Thirty. Wow. Thirty knockouts and two losses. Mm -hmm. Two so losses. Do, to, those two losses, one is for can, uh, can come away games, mm -hmm. and one is for Olympics. That's it. I've never lost in Af Africa Championship. I've never lost in, in Nigeria. I've never, I've never lost a tournament in Nigeria. I always won gold. So when I get to Africa tournament. I want go. That's it. So you think your power is natural, or it was because you were a bodybuilder? Yeah, the power is natural. It came like my body is natural. I have a strong, like heavy bones in my body. So when I was born, my mom told me, like the doctor told my mom, like this guy is gonna be a mountain man. Mm. That's what my mom told me when I, when I was a kid. So that's it. When you reach the pinnacle of the heavyweight division, the top of the boxing division, when you get up there with Wilder and Joshua and all the big names. Yeah. Um, I mean, <clears throat> do you want to bring boxing back to Africa or to Nigeria? If you were popular, would you want to bring a fight back over there? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so because in Nigeria there's no like <clears throat> like I wanna say, you know, in America it's different from Nigeria. So I don't think it's gonna happen. Because if it happen, like who's gonna like who's gonna be there? People cannot travel from here to come and watch the fight. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna happen because I'm not from I'm not from, I'm not like I'm from Nigeria. But some people like some boxers, they would like to pick fight to Nigeria. That's what Nigeria want. Yes. But hopefully I don't think so. When the time comes. Alright. Does Hefe Ajaba have any clout in Nigeria? Clout means like popularity, fame, like people know you're the man. Do they know who you are in Nigeria? Yeah, everybody always call me, like, especially on Facebook. People I've never seen before. Oh, yeah? They call me, they test me, you know, since the guy walk out of the ring. That's how people look at me as a popularity in Nigeria. In Wikipedia, it says that you won a medal in the, in the African Games, did you? Yes. Oh, yeah? Talk yes, that's uh, 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 All-Africa Games, 2015. Mm -hmm. I won gold. How was that? What, what, uh, what is that? Is it similar to the Olympics? No, it's, it's down. It's like it's all Africa games. The first one, 2015, uh, uh, not till Obunen out. The first one. Mm. So in the final, the guy backed me. The guy I fought the final is from Morocco. So I won the fight. The guy backed me on my on my shoulder because it was frustrated. So he backed me on two, twice, and the referee stopped the fight mm. by disqualification for back. All right, I, I, we we kind of touched on this, but. Was Shelly Finkel the first U.S. manager, promoter to show interest? Uh, and why did you decide to work with Al Heyman? Mm. So, was Shelly the first one, but you said Lennox Lewis was the first one to come yes. at you, and right? Yeah. Uh, because, so, Mark Owen, I've already told the, like, the guy, he's an injured to Shelly, to every manager. Mm -hmm. Murray, the, all that middle manager. So, Shelly, maybe Shelly looking for Everett. So, uh, the guy... Call Shelly. Yeah, he called Shelly. There are some guy, which is me, like, from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Because Shelly likes to manage Heavy Africa words. boxers from mm -hmm. everywhere. So, those, those are the guy. They got power. They got natural. So, Shelly wants that. So he said he doesn't need everywhere from America. But hopefully, I don't know. But sometimes, it, when I see it, so he, 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 he says something like that. So, the guy told Shelly, like, he got some guys. He went to Olympics. He got a knockout first one. Mm -hmm. And Shelly, maybe the guy showing him the video. Like profile of the video of the Olympics. So Shelly showing like, you know, because I already did with so Lela Slewis, but I didn't sign the contract. But Lela Slewis tried to give me the offer of amount of money for sign off. So it's like, the, the amount of sign off in the money, it was busting my brain. But sometimes, like, when you get the money, your career is going to end somewhere. So that's what I tell you, because when you got, when you got money, big money, it's not going to motivate you. We got this wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you saying that the Lennox Lewis contract was so big. It was so big, yeah. You turned it down because you thought the money wasn't going to motivate you? Yeah, exactly. So like, F.A., you can't be serious. No, yeah, I, I, I'm serious. Like, the money off of me is like, how much is it? It's like more than 50, more than 50 thousand dollars. To so sign? Shelly, yeah, to sign me. Shelly, Shelly said it's going to pay times two of what well, Lennox Lewis did, but I was like, I was confused, you know. Oh, so Shelly said, whatever Lennox Lewis, I offer you twice as much. Three, twice my Damn. Month. So I was like, How you was know, you feeling then? How did you feel in your I head, was, in your heart? Yeah, I was, I, I can't even think. I was like, 
I can't go think. Like yeah, I call my brother. Yeah. yeah. I said well, I, I explained it to him. Like, what do you think? Yeah. Shelly gave me an offer. I said, Lars Lewis, that's too off. What Lars Lewis want to offer me? It's like who is Shelly Fico? Because I didn't know him. Yeah, yeah. So you had to do your research. Yeah. So it's like I didn't know this guy, but let me go through his profile. I read what his yeah. profile is all about. I, I read everything about Shelly. He promotes my taxi, only fee, everybody. you know, everybody. I was like, Vladimir I think, Klitschko. Yeah, I think, I think this is the best hand. I have to go. This is the best hand because Lelis Lewis they didn't manage anybody. They didn't coach mm -hmm, anybody. Mm -hmm. He's just retired for boxing. He want to become coach. Mm -hmm. That's not the best. Canada is not the best place for me. Mm -hmm. So my dad already told me, like, oh your dad? Yeah, my dad. He already told me like, United States is the best box, best place to to be my career, to be a successful career. So your so father that, and your mom alive? Yeah, yeah. In my Nigeria? Mom, yeah, they are alive in Nigeria. But my dad got struck. Yeah, yeah he struck. got struck, yeah, but he can't walk. So my dad told me all that stuff. He said, go to the United States, it's the best place. Don't go to Canada. There's no boxing in Canada. He, he said, he have never had boxing in Canada. So why you want to go to Canada? You want to head up a car in Canada? Yeah. I always think of stuff, and I've searched Canada boxing. There's nothing there. So why would I be there? So I just test, I told Lelis Lewis, I can't sign the contract. I've been with Shelly. It's like, really? I was like, there's no, you can't force me. So I have to decide what I want because I want to make, want my career to be successful. So you think you and Lennox will still be friends? Is he still talk to you? Yeah, it, hopefully he doesn't talk to me, but. Oh, he doesn't? He doesn't talk to me anymore because that's it, because he, yeah, he wants me to oh, get it off. Yeah, but yeah. it's not like much. But it, it's my friend on Instagram. So whatever I post picture, on uh, Instagram, like mm -hmm. he always like the video, he always comment. Lennox? Yeah. He used to or he still does? He still do it. Oh, okay, good, good, good. All right, so in the heavyweight division, one punch can end the fight. Yeah. Have you had any scary KOs? Would it bother you if you permanently injured, killed someone in the ring? Some fighters feel it's kill or be killed. So does that... Do do you mind if you kill someone in the ring? You heard Wilder say that before, right? Or no? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Say, why not say that before? But to me, like, you remember the guy I knocked down when he slept? Mm -hmm. I feel bad. Oh, yeah? So, because when I knock him out, I walk to the corner. corner. So when I face him, he was still down. I was like, I, I didn't feel good. Yeah. Because the guy is not in shape. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a shape. It's like so you wanted a challenge. You felt like you were taking abuse. Yeah, but, but when I hit him, I, I didn't hit him hard. He just straight my right hand. Mm -hmm. He touched on his face and he fell. I was when I went to the corner, I faced him. I was like, he's on the ground. I was feel bad, you know. I was thinking he's like he's half. Yeah. So I walked towards him. I like to try like to raise him up. Yeah. But the wife he said I should have him let yeah. him on the ground because he tried to take all the gloves off and he mm -hmm. took out mouth picks. So when he told me, it's okay, it's okay, it's gonna be fine. And that's it, because to me, it's like, the punch the guy took, I feel it, but sometimes, like, it's boxing. So you don't like to hurt people? Hopefully, like, in, in the ring. In the so room. when I fight somebody in the ring, I don't allow him to hurt me. It's both. Like, we both we fight him from winning. So, like, it's not like I'll try to kill him, it's boxing. So it's like anytime I throw my right hand on the chain, I did like I didn't miss my target. So when I throw the jab, the jab is instruction to big this like to open up for the right hand mm -hmm. to come. That's what I do to him. So when I put the right hand there, nobody can survive it when I put the right hand on the chain. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> especially this guy, uh, uh, Rony Hernandez, the guy that fought in New York. Mm -hmm. So the guy was so blood. Do you yeah, remember that yeah. fight? That's the guy, the holy guy that took me to distance. Mm. The guy, the guy took my best shot. He probably hates he did that he, now. He took my best shot, but guess what? But the guy took so many blood on his face. The blood was like, yeah, exactly. So, like the guy, he, he, that was the give up. When I hit him, I said, oh, you don't want to give up? Okay, let me give you what I want. <laughs> That's what he want. So did it make it, did it make it more fun for you because he had resistance? Yeah, he give me more fun. Like that was the only fight. When I watched that fight, when I watched that fight. Is the best fight. Even Shelly was scared. Mm. Shelly Pico was scared. It's like what? This guy is too, is too like it's too like it's too tough for me. Yeah. At my stage. So um, hopefully Shelly said I'm surprising. 
That's what happened. All right. Does anyone in your family box or compete athletically? Yeah, my my my, my dad used to box. Okay. But it's not like he does he does he does a box far. He stops somewhere and because of his job back in the day. And any brothers or sisters that are athletes? No. No. Okay. No, yeah, all of them are students. All, all students. Of, all students. Yeah. That's great. Do you have any fears or nerves when you step into the ring? Do you feel? Yeah, I was nervous a little bit. They are, like every boxer is nervous. You can't tell me like there's no boxer that's not nervous. Mm. Over Jota, why are everybody are nervous when they step into the ring? Okay. Yeah. Um, how many languages do you speak? Uh, in Nigeria, we have too many languages. Too many languages. But in my own languages in Nigeria, I can't be speaking much. Just a little bit. So English and Nigerian? Nigeria, that's like native language in Nigeria. Too many native languages. Okay. Like Yoruba, Aousa, Igbo, and Urobo. Those are the languages in Nigeria. Alright. Uh, if Usyk, you said you watched the Tony Belly Usyk fight, oh, right? yeah. If Usyk, the undisputed cruiserweight, challenged you to a fight, May of next year, May of next year, would you take that? Salish. If if Usyk says I want to fight FA next May, <laughs> but it's, the, it's, it's not about the fight. It's the money. Oh, okay. It's not about the fight. It's the money. Like sometimes when you fight somebody, if the money is small, it doesn't motivate you. So when you saw the big money, big money, big fight. That's all I'm about. Well, it would be big money. You know, Tony Bell, you got five million for yeah, that fight. Yeah, uh, yeah, he got big money there. But I told my brother, you say go to mess to the Bell Yeah. But to the bigger child, ask my wife because he used experience. He took Usyk to distance mm -hmm. with his experience. But you know, we say take it you know, to the bigger with him. He take like all he redeem, all the best, like the reflex. He take everything from him and he put it on his body, and that's a knock to mm -hmm. the bigger heart. All right, uh, you are continuously being linked to Deontay Wilder. Why do you think that is? People always talk Wilder and F.A. F.A. and Wilder. Why do you think your names are together? <laughs> because, like, anytime I step in the ring, my hair, the way I bring my hair, it's like Jotawara. Okay. I got a Jotawara shape. Okay. The style of Jotawara boxing, mm -hmm. like Jotawara used to knock people hard first one. That's how people used me to compare Jotawara. That's it. All right. Do you think you're better? Yeah, it's better, yeah. No, you better. I better, I better than Joe Tawada. You better, you yeah. better. Okay. Uh, Joe Joyce is a guy around your level, 6-0. Would you entertain a fight with him this soon? No, Too I soon? don't think so. Uh, because, ask my wife. Because Joe, uh, Joe Joyce, the promoter is David Hay. Mm -hmm. Well, not no more. Not anymore. Sam, uh, Sam Samson? Your man, your advisor, Al Heyman, and Richard Schaefer. Yeah, or but, but so the only difference he has from you is Shelly. He don't have Shelly, he got Al. You got Shelly and Al, he just has Al, Richard Schaefer, and Sam, Sam, uh, Sam Samson. But yeah, but but you work it like he got rid of David Hay for, for a Rista, yeah, fired him. Is this it, it, all from Rista? No, he's just not like Joe Joyce, no longer with David Hay. No longer. Still with Ringstar. Yeah. Not David Hay though. Oh. Okay. But David Hay bring him to professional boxing. Yes. He bring him to professional boxing. No. Nobody wants to sign him. Well, Richard Schaefer signed him. He signed him. Oh, 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 oh. I was thinking he's David Hay. But he used to be. Oh. In the beginning. Oh, but right now it's not with David Hay anymore. No. So now but, with Al Heyman, Richard Schaefer, PBC, same place you're at. But it's, I don't think. I, uh, like Richard Schaefer, I could have made the fight happen. Nah, too soon. Exactly. I think so, but would you take it if they offered it to you? But it's the money, it's not about the fight, it's the money. That's it. Everybody, because, like, my manager, he need big money for the fight. Because, like, every manager spend money on the fighter. So, why is the money going to be small? He need, big, he need money. money. Big money, big fight. That's how it's all about. You don't think that would be a big money fight, though? I don't think so. That's going to be a big money fight because you just, me, I got. I'll be you just simple, simple. You just would beat him simple? Yeah. See, easy, easy. But if you feel so confident, why don't you want that now? Ah, because that's not right now. Because right now, that's how the bridge is just up. 
that's why they build me up. So we got to clash in the end. Okay. That's how it's okay. all about the I like it, man. I like your mind, man. I can't wait to see you in the ring again. Hefe, thanks for inviting me, and we'll see all you right. next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Family, yes. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.